In this video, we're going to take a look at creating curtain wall. First, I'm going to set up some walls to insert our curtain wall system into. So I'm going to start by coming down here to my properties menu, selecting on an exterior wall. We use brick on metal stud for this one. I'm going to come over here to my rectangle tool just to lay out my ground floor walls. And I'm going to click and I'm going to insert this rectangular form here. I'm going to escape out. Next thing I want to do is I'm actually going to go to an elevation view. And I wanted to make sure that we have 30 feet. Let's see that I've already manipulated that in this project. But if you're going to follow along, please come in here and set your second floor elevation to 30 feet. Now let's get started with our curtain wall. Our curtain wall can be found under wall architectural. When you come down to your properties menu and scroll down to the bottom on your list, for this video we're going to use curtain wall 1 which allows us to sketch the curtain wall system. So I'm going to click to add this wall type. I'm going to come into my plan view and I'm just going to insert a line of curtain wall across this base. You'll see Revit gives me a warning highlighting walls overlapping. I'm going to escape out. Next thing we're going to need to do is to cut our curtain wall into our existing geometry. So the first thing I'm going to do is select our existing geometry. I'm going to come up to my geometry panel and I'm going to click cut geometry. I'm going to come back down. First I'm going to select the wall that needs to be cut. And then I'm going to select zoom in so that you can see. But I'm going to select the curtain wall that is going to cut that wall. Now I have curtain wall inserted into my wall. I'm going to use my 3D view just to take a look. Let's scroll around using my steering cube and now you can see my curtain wall appears as a blank wall but it is now inserted into the wall properly. Next thing we're going to do is begin to set up the framework for this curtain wall system. So here in my north elevation view we're going to begin to add the grid work. On my architectural tab, I'm going to come down to curtain grid and click. You'll see to insert my horizontal grid lines, my, I'll move my cursor along this edge or the other side, and I'll move it along the top and bottom to insert my vertical grid lines. So I'm just going to insert one grid line here at about seven foot six, which represents what will later be the head of our doors. I'm going to insert another grid line, another two foot six up. Then I'm going to insert another grid line here. I'm going to space another two foot six. I'm going to come up here to the top. And I'm actually going to insert this one at two foot. I'm going to deselect out. And now let's place some of our vertical grid lines as well while we're in this grid tool. I'm going to come across. I'm going to leave five feet on both ends.
Then I want to create a door opening. I'm going to leave six foot. I'm going to leave a two foot spacing. Then I'm going to create another six foot panel for my doors. And I'm going to do the same on this edge. I'm going to come in six feet. Leave my two foot spacer between the doors. Come over another six foot. Then I'm just going to come in here in between and I'm just going to click right here between these 30 feet have an equal mullion as well. Now we have all the grid lines we need to get started. I'm going to escape out here. The next thing I'm going to do because I want to create a continuous horizontal panel that will later be solid in these areas the next thing we're going to do is modify our grid lines so I'm going to click click on my grid line once I have it highlighted now you'll see it brings up add remove segments I'm going to select this come back to this grid line and in these areas where I would like to remove a portion of the grid I'm going to click and I'm going to repeat the process wherever I would like to remove portions of my grid line I'm going to click this grid line Now we're ready to go. Next thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to lay out my mullions for my system. So back up here next to the curtain grid tool that we've already used on the architectural tab, we're going to use mullions. I can apply mullions horizontally or vertically to my grid lines with the placement that's currently selected I can apply mullions segment by segment to my line work but we're going to use all grid lines because I know that this is the grid layout that I would like represented with mullions I'm going to use this and give one click to my entire wall system that I've created here now you'll see Revit has applied mullions to the entire system I'm going to escape out here. I'm going to come back down to where I had wanted to insert my doors. I know that I wanted a pair of doors here. I'm holding down shift and selecting this door line. This bottom frame as well. And I'm going to continue that here and here for my four doors that we want to have at grade level. Now I'm just going to hit delete to get rid of those door frames. Now I'm going to come back here to just one point. It doesn't matter what edge of the door that I may select, but I would like to select this panel and add in the proper curtain wall door. So I'm going to tab through, select this panel. I'm going to come up here to properties and I see on my list I currently do not have a door available to me so the next thing we're going to need to do is escape out we're going to come back up here to insert and I'm going to come down to load family I'm going to come out here to doors just so that we can fully read the name I'm going to extend but here are the curtain wall doors that we currently have loaded in our by default. I'm going to select the curtain wall storefront double. 
and I'm going to click open. Now this curtain wall door has been added to our project. So now let's go back to this intersection, tab through, and select this panel again. Now when we come back to our properties menu, on the list you'll now see storefront double door as a curtain wall option. I'm going to select it and apply that to each of these four panels. Great. Now we have all of our doors applied at grade. The next thing I want to do is I want to come into this area and I want to begin to apply solid panels. So I'm going to tab through again. Now you'll see my continuous panel is selected. I'm going to select that. And you'll see it's a system panel glazed by default, which all of these panels are. I'm going to come down and instead of a glaze panel I'm going to select a solid panel. Now we have a solid panel in this area. I'm going to repeat the process for these other panels as well. For the other two rows where I would like to assign a solid panel, I would like to show you a much quicker way to make your selection. I'm going to come up here, tab through until I've selected this face. Then I want to right click, select panels along horizontal grid. Now you'll see Revit will select all the panels throughout my system in this horizontal grid area. I'm going to come to panel, come all the way down to solid and select and repeat this process at the top as well. Select one panel in that horizontal configuration, come down to select panels along horizontal grid and change the panel type to a solid panel. If I look at this in 3D, you'll see we now have a curtain wall system that has solid panels at the proper locations as well as curtain wall doors installed into the configuration. I hope that this video is helpful.